What is up guys? Cloaking Arbiter Figuring Toy Reviews here and today we have a special package. This is the Titanosaurus. Uh, it has been on my wish list for quite some time. He is one of my favorite monsters from the Showa era and if I have my, my history right, he, uh, the Terror of Mechagodzilla was the last of the Showa era films to be made before they did uh, Godzilla in 1984. So, you guys know the knife. Let's get to it. I know that uh, my unboxing videos have been fairly short, and some of you have made the comments about just essentially, you know, uh, speeding up the process of doing all this opening stuff. But if I did that, these unboxing videos would literally be like 30 seconds, you know, because it's not a review. It's, it's an unboxing. So I hate to tell you this, guys, but um, please stop asking me to speed up this part. If you want this part to be sped up, just skip it. But I, you know, I, I prefer to take the time to drag out the length a bit of my my video here because you know it just it's it's too easy. It, it just look at this. We're already at a minute and nine seconds here, guys. So yeah, I really don't want to make this too fast. Can you see? In a minute and seventeen seconds, we're already opening up the lid. Alrighty, here we are. Now this came from Canada, I do believe. So. Let's see what's oh there's ah, Titano. Let's see what's on sale in Quebec, eh? Ooh. Fun and nice doing some going in between Tommy Chong and President Trump. I know it's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, man. Some messed up accent right there, but <laughs> Alright, let's get this crap out of here. And let's get the toy of the hour. A Ziploc baggie. I mean, it worked. <laughs> a Ziploc baggie. Oh my god. I'm sorry, guys. I just found that extremely humorous and I would have kept laughing for a good minute. But, um, yeah, really keeps the freshness in. <laughs> but here we go, guys. The Titanosaurus. As you know, this is not a figurine uh, review. This is just an unboxing. So this is my first impressions, my first reactions of getting this thing in my hand. And I gotta say, I'm... I'm blown away. The the coloring, the paint job, the just the overall look of this vinyl figurine most definitely is uh I'm I'm blown away now that I actually get to hold one in my hand and actually look at it. I love the detail on his chest. The legs look absolutely gorgeous. I really, really, really love this guy. Plus, his uh, roars was actually one of my favorite uh, sound effect roars they did for the show Era Monsters. That. <laughs> <laughs> There's a horrible butcher of it, but still, it was just, it was just iconic to me, and it was just very different that stood out amongst the Showa era monsters like the uh, Anguirus uh, figurine, like not Anguirus figurine, but uh, the Anguirus uh, call that was iconic. But uh, yeah, we can move on to the card. I mean, that's uh, we'll see what that looks like now. Alrighty, here you go. Let's just get this focused in here. This is very different from the other Bandai cards I've gotten because you guys want to take a screenshot of that for a collector's portfolio, but uh, yeah, look at all these different vinyl monsters, and they even have a Gamera in that collection. Yeah, this is the first time I've ever seen a Bandai card like this that advertised all the different vinyl figurines for availability. So guys, here you go. I actually own him, 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 him. Him, 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 and her. And her. And him. So the only thing I'm missing on this list, ooh, my lighting. I am missing 2003 Baragon, the 2002 version of him. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, and Junior. Junior. Oh, and that version of Rodan. Because I don't have that actual. That's not the Final Wars version. It's the Heisei era version. My bad. And I got a different version of Angiris, so that's not quite the same one either. But still, wow. Nice card. Really, really, really nice card. Well, guys, I hate to say it, but um, that's going to be about it for the Titanosaurus. There really just isn't much to say because this is not a figuring uh, review. This is just an unboxing, but. Um, here he is, the, the awesome-looking Titanosaurus. 
I'm completely blown away by this guy. I love the look. Let's let's get a little closer on this head real fast. We'll we'll zoom in on that head. I love, 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 love this paint job. Oh my lord. He is just exquisite. And he did come out in 2002, was the year of this figurine's release. So yeah, that was with the big resurgence of figurines. I remember that back in the day. Got some articulation in the tail all the way around. Legs, head, arms. That's not bad. Well, guys, that'll be about it. That is the Titanosaurus. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Like and subscribe for more Monster Madness and figurine review collecting. I'm always, right now, like I said, I'm always focusing on Godzilla at the moment. But we do have more stuff in the works. And I'm just, uh, just coming up with more ideas. I know that I'm crapping out unboxing videos left and right. But at the moment... That's what's coming in as I keep getting monsters and different things in and in and in and in. And I just, I, I don't want to over flood everything. So, I mean, I guess with what I'm doing, it is kind of an over flood of just unboxings. But, but here you go. Um, this is it for you right here. So, like I said, guys, if you enjoyed it, like and subscribe. Share the word on all your social media platforms about my work, The Cloaking Arbiter. And I look forward to you in the next uh, unboxing, review, uh, discussion, you name it. Um, and I'm also going to try to come up with some different ideas for this thing. Anyway, guys, if you like the video, please like and subscribe, share. And as always, peace. Au revoir.